Why has the SEC been so secretive about the fact that XRP is now considered a non-security in its rules of conduct? Also, the top 2000 Binance smart chain whales collectively own 72 million XRP, at a value of $28 million. At long last, some have introduced XRP QR payments at brick and mortar establishments. Please watch the whole video to find out more. Check out this brand new video immediately if this is something that interests you. Welcome to our channel, where we discuss recent developments in the world of XRP and other cryptocurrencies. Since the legal analysis regarding cryptocurrencies to determine which ones are securities and which ones are not is extremely complex, Blurred Inc., a United States Securities and Exchange Commission registered investment advisor and broker, permits investments in XRP, which it says is generally viewed as a currency. Since Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP are all widely recognized as currencies despite not being regulated by the SEC at the present time, Blurt has decided to permit investments in these three cryptocurrencies. The company publishes its ethics policy to the SEC's website. Even though it's not known when this was written, the most recent revision occurred on January 4, 2021, nearly two weeks after the SEC filed a complaint against Ripple, claiming that XRP is an unregistered security. Today, a member of the standard underscore XRP Twitter community posted a screenshot of the page. It's worth noting that this isn't the first time the XRP community has looked to Baylor's code of ethics as a possible defense against the SEC's claims. Mr. XRP had previously announced the fine in November 2021, attributing it to Ben Armstrong, aka Big Boy Crypto, a well-known figure in the crypto community. Yesterday, attorney John Deaton mentioned that the judge has seen the document because it is referenced in the friend of the court brief he filed on behalf of over 75,000 XRP holders in the SEC versus Ripple case. At the same time, this won't be the first time XRP has been called a cryptocurrency in official writing. XRP is a virtual currency, as Deaton noted in a lengthy thread from December of last year. In 2014 and 2015, the U.S. Government Accountability Office and the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network both referred to XRP as a virtual currency, which the lawyer brought up. The SEC itself, via the Hinman speech, revealed that assets in decentralized networks do not qualify as securities, which is the crux of the SEC case. Exactly one year later, Deaton brought up how the SEC's digital asset framework argues that crypto, which users can readily use for payments, is unlikely to satisfy how is test and therefore cannot be classified as a security. By citing these details, Deaton argued that even if the SEC prevails in its case against Ripple, it is highly unlikely that it will do so in its case against the company's top executives. The attorney claims that the agency must show that it was obvious to a reasonable person that XRP was a security, as the agency claims. Nonetheless, given these track records, it's likely to be an uphill task, as Deaton claims. Both parties in the SEC case against Ripple have filed the necessary briefs with the court, and now they wait for a ruling after more than two years. If you want to be among the first to know about any new developments involving XRP, be sure to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications. As of now, XRP is the preferred investment option. According to data compiled by WhaleStats, the 2,000 biggest whales on the Binance Smart Chain collectively hold 72.8 million XRP tokens, with a market value of $28.4 million. It is estimated that the top 2,000 BSC whales control a total of $28,400,000 worth of XRP tokens. This investment places XRP in the top 10 list of largest single holdings, amounting to 2% of the total cumulative bag of these whales. The top 100 BSC whales are said to hold even more XRP than the top 2,000 whales combined. The official WellStats website reports that among the top 100 whales, they possess a total of 70.8 million XRP, with a market value of $27.2 million at press time. This amounts to 2.38% of the total assets in circulation. Further, as of right now, XRP is the sixth most purchased token by these well addresses. Despite this, XRP is not among the top 10 most traded tokens, suggesting that the majority of holders have decided to keep their holdings. Since wealthy addresses have started moving around millions of XRP tokens, there has been a flurry of whale purchases. 
Recently, a wallet held 150 million XRP worth $58.4 million, according to a wheel alert, as the asset struggled to maintain its position above $0.40. Afterwards, a number of whale addresses split up 76.7 million XRP across two trades. For the first, 34 million XRP were moved from an unknown wallet to Bitstamp, and for the second, 42.7 million XRP were transferred from one Bitso address to another. Not long after the latest news hit the cryptosphere, the Crypto Basics website revealed that Binance and Crypto.com had upgraded to 23 XRP tokens. The market as a whole is rising. However, recent attempts to push the asset's price back up above the 40 cents level have been met with resistance, so the rally has not been entirely fruitful. At the time of writing, 1 XRP is worth 39 cents, a decrease of 2.8% in the last 24 hours. It's time to discuss XRP, a new cryptocurrency. Stores that accept QR payments. Developers at XRP Labs and elsewhere have introduced a QR payments feature for using the XRP wallet to pay in stores. The first Sun Wallet POS terminal was installed at 36 Away, a sandwich and pasta shop in the Netherlands, as of yesterday, as developers tweeted via the official Sun Wallet account. Free, a loyalty program platform, reportedly collaborated with developers to create the solution tweeted about. Reports state that Rights Wind, lead developer at XRP Labs, hinted at the addition at the end of last month. Notably, it fulfilled an inquiry for a debit card suitable for carrying in a pocket. Developers explained yesterday that cards are inefficient and incur additional fees, so QR payments are preferable. Users can pay with any amount of supported tokens, and the store will receive the requested amount of fiat currency as a GitHub. Stablecoin? Wind claims the creator explains that a decentralized exchange will handle the currency exchange. He also claims that GitHub stablecoins are not cryptocurrency but rather electronic money. Therefore, he thinks that there will be no tax consequences for recipients if they switch to fiat. Stores that already have point-of-sale terminals for cards can use them to accept this payment method, as the Term 1 terminal card in some wins implies. The reason, according to the project's leader, is that stores can accept XRP QR payments by adding a new scanner to their existing point-of-sale system. The developer behind XRP Labs has dropped hints that merchants will soon be able to sign up for the service, saying that more information would be released by free. The UK is most likely to be the starting point for the rollout. Furthermore, Wendy stated that developers intend to release the payment feature for e-commerce stores, claiming that it will release on one of the largest e-commerce stores this month or next. To no one's surprise, the locals are very enthusiastic about the new project. According to the technical community lead at Ripple, users in developing countries would greatly benefit from this service because they would be able to receive payments in any currency they choose, despite the crippling inflation they're experiencing. And with that, this video is over. I really appreciate it if you fellas would like to like the video if you did enjoy it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified. See you later, bye.